Only one chance. Any test for the critical problem suffers an extra minus four penalty. You guys don't Wait. have What? Wait a second, look, the woman is tied on both cards. Oh, <laughs> hey, it's the same picture. Oh, that's pretty it's cool. It's the same art. <laughs> oh, no one, not even yourself. Yeah, that is pretty funny. Um... Same woman on both <laughs> cards. Okay, so the name of the card is only one chance. You don't have to worry about the critical problem because you're not worried or you're not working in a, a dramatic skill resolution. It is a dramatic scene, so the heroes get inspiration. What that means is that the affected side each recover two shock and, if unconscious, regain consciousness. So if you had any shock, reduce it by two. Um, which means dogfight... And Thuban. And it looks like nobody else. Okay. Well, uh, um, he, go ahead, Penny. Pizzas. I was wondering if I couldn't uh, run up and, and join it because join in the brouhaha. Make a dex check for me. <laughs> Just a, plan. a straight yeah, dex. I, so that I don't go uh, bouncing around this 10 cam like a... No, no, no. It's It's not that. You, okay, you had to crawl through a tunnel and up into a special box in order to be able to pop through the top and and have access to those guns up front. So This is just a dex, not dodge or maneuver or anything? Just a dex. Okay. Um, you, you close the hatch and you turn around and you bump your head. It's not worth any shock or anything like that, but no, you you can't clear it. You're you're sitting there for a second, holding your forehead, going, "Oh, that hurt." Yeah, I'm falling on my tuckus and making a spectacle of myself for the captain and dogfight. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so the uh, approved action is any multi-action. If you do a multi-action, uh, you get a card. Okay. Um, don't forget you have cards in your pools. So if you need to use those, you can, but not the cards in your hands. Now, who wants to go first, since heroes get to act first? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I will, since I'm right there on top of him. Uh, unless anybody has something else that they, uh, they they can think of to like help set me up for a better I shot. Can, I can help I, soften you up via dooming him. And I could, you know, use my telekinesis to, you know... Make it so he, like, falls on his butt or something. No, you could try to snatch that wrench out of his hand. Uh, that was my second plan. Uh, yeah. You can try, but it's going to be a high difficulty. Uh, now, yeah. hang on a second. Mo. Yes. You are now a rocket ranger. You're no longer a, um, a bloodthirsty native Adenos lizard man. Okay? Nope. Um, yes. I know this. So... As a rocket ranger, the rocket ranger co core has kind of a code of honor. Mm -hmm. And you can probably recognize that this guy is just trying to defend what he thinks should be defended. Mm. Okay. So I'll let you think on that for a second. And do you want Thuban to go ahead and, and help soften the guy up? Uh, yeah, go, go ahead and doom him. Necromancers have no honor. <laughs> Basically, that is versus his um, faith or spirit. Okay, let me pop him open. He does not have faith, so it goes against spirit. His his oh. spirit is an eleven. Uh, that is stymied yep. or vulnerable. Let's make him vulnerable. Okay, so he'll become very vulnerable at this point, uh, but at the end of this round, if he survives to the end of this round, um, he will uh, lose two points after his action. So let me go ahead and pop him open and make sure he's very vulnerable. Okay. Now, uh, Mo, what do you want to do? I was just looking for... Um... Are, are there are there special rules for like actually trying to like you know just just KO somebody just knock them out? Um, as a matter of fact, um, there are, but I've got to find them again. Um, it's basically so, pulling your punch. Uh, oh, I remember what it is. Uh, you basically just announced that you're pulling your punch, 
and mm-hmm. then all he takes is shock, unless you roll disgustingly high. Okay, all right. That, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I, I I sit there and, and, and I, I sit there and I just like take my the, the two like K bars that I have, mm-hmm. and I just like jam them into a crate on either side of me. Okay. And, and I take up almost a boxing stance, and I just toot toot toot, and like you know, lay into him. Pop him in the <laughs> noggin, huh? Now, pop uh, him in the noggin. Remember, yeah. you have a um, okay. Now, wait a minute. He's got his wrench, so he does have. Oh, that's not yep, what I he'll, wanted. So he'll get a bonus, which I think actually negates. Yes, he's got an unarmed defense uh, bonus of two, mm-hmm. uh, which is going to negate the minus two for or the the plus two that you would get for him being large. Okay, yep. so when you roll, uh, you're yep. just rolling against him, and of course his vulnerability is going to make things pretty easy for you. Uh, his... uh, well, here's hoping, but I, I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to also multitask because I'm going to try to intimidate him. Okay, so okay, so the intimidate would be first. Yeah, the intimidate would be first because I'm going to try to uh, stymie him on top of the vulnerable that he's got. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and roll it. Uh, just go from your attribute. All right. All right. And I'm, uh, let's see here. I am skilled in both of those. Mm-hmm. It's not asking me if I'm, all right, let me, let me see here. It's not asking me to put in for a, uh, whether or not I'm skilled. Okay. That's odd. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this for a moment and come back here. Okay, so you've got a roll. Okay, the result is a 12. Um, mm-hmm. Defender wins. He has a 12 intimidate. You were trying to intimidate him. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's fine. Uh, that, that was his attribute, not the skill. I've oh, got three uh, ads. In, uh, I've got three ads in intimidate. Okay, so okay, so your bonus is just a, a plus zero. So what is okay? What is your actual intimidate? Uh, my intimidate. Uh, uh, it would be fifteen. Fifteen minus twelve. That's three. Okay, so um, you say that you want to make him, um, yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to make him vulnerable. Uh, well, you can't oh, make no, him... Uh, stymied, stymied. stymied. Uh, okay. The so other one. There you go. He is stymied. Um, and then... So he can't beat me to death with that damn wrench. Right. Now, um, you're minus two for the second one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, what is your uh, unarmed combat? Nine. Nine. Uh, you, you... Ten. Why is it 10? Because I've got a plus one because of the bless I put on myself. Oh, that's right. Okay. Again, defender wins because his unarmed is at a 10. Okay. Um, uh, So his plus two to unarmed defense was canceled out by your plus two to hit him. Okay. Uh, Mm -hmm. So that was zero. But you had plus one on your value. So that made your your unarmed to hit a 10. But he's also got a 10 and defender wins in this particular case. So you did not succeed at either of those. I did succeed at the first one. Oh, at intimidate. Yeah. Okay. Um, But you didn't exceed at both. Now, wait a minute. For any multi-action, hang on a second. Let me look this up real quick. Um, which, of course, I'm going to have to find my way around again. Uh, Destiny cards, Drama Deck 111. Uh, let's see. Approved actions. Do, 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 do. If there are two approved actions on the Drama card, character may receive a Destiny card for each. He may never receive more than one card for the same type of action, however. Uh, beside these factions. Okay, that's for the conflict line. I'm not worried about that. So let's see. It doesn't say anything in here about any multi-action. I think you have to be successful at both of those actions to be able to gain a card. That's fine. Okay. Uh, anybody got a supporter card before we move on? No, sorry. Dang, Nabbit. Uh, why? Because if you did, I would win. Yeah. And not only would I do damage to him, but I would get a card. 
I got a coup de gras. Do you want to trade it? Now that w- that would only help me if I won, so I could do a, uh, a do a roll. Yeah. Okay. What he needs is an action card or a adrenaline card. Yep. I have a supporter. You oh. have a supporter. You want to throw it out for him? Sure. Yep. Here we go. So now wait, was that pool? in your pool? Yeah. Okay. All right. If that was in your pool, okay. So. Um, you now succeed uh, in hitting Shoal, uh, but no bonus dice. No, Mo, oh. bread basket, bread basket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll damage, and I will see about getting you your card. Chris, thank you, or Connor, thank you very much. All right. All right, so I need, where is my unarmed Damage. Uh, it'll be strength, if nothing else. Yeah, uh, here it is. This is a dramatic scene. Um. Yeah. Uh. Hold on. What we need to do. Uh, okay. Let me let me get into your to your sheet for a minute. You guys might all want to do this. Um. In fact, I'll I'll kind of have you all do it together. Get into your character sheets because this is something that I completely forgot about. Um. For everybody. Uh, uh, get into your weapons and powers block. And down at the bottom left, click add. And then you can list it however you want. Uh, uh, unarmed combat or uh, fisticuffs or, you know, however you would. However I you already want. have my tentacle attack. Okay, then that that is your, your hand-to-hand. You're unarmed. So mm-hmm. uh, everybody else, um, the axiom is zero. The range is is touch. Uh, ammo is nothing. Uh, damage is going to be your strength. Well, if it's a if it's a uh, um, dramatic round, then my power gauntlets work. It is a dramatic scene. So yes. You are uh, about to kick this boy's butt, ain't you? That's my hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, kick in your... Once you've got that set up on your character sheet uh, for unarmed, or like you put boxing or pugilism or whatever you want to put, um, mm-hmm. uh, then go ahead and roll that and make sure that you include your power gauntlets. What's the attack type? Uh, the uh, attack type is is going to be... Oh, sure. Now I, I got to open it back up. Thanks a lot. Um, Sorry. <laughs> the attack type. Standard? Uh, why are you asking for attack type? Well, because it says target, and then it says attack type. Oh. And you have to pick one. <laughs> there it is. Okay, target. Uh, the attack type is going to be Dodger Dexterity. All right. Wow, they really ought to keep that on top. Huh. All right. Boom. Now I'll see about moving it to the top of my list at some point. Okay. All right. But in this case, I'm rolling this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on. Let me cancel because I don't think I was clicking on myself. There I am. All right. So click on that. Pick him. Uh, no bonus dice. No bonus dice. All right. So. Okay. That is only two more shock. Um, do you have a coup de gras? I have I a coup de gras, but, but it's in my I, pool. Yeah, I haven't got it up into my hand yet. Well, the, the well, the only way that you would be able to trade when you're in combat is from pool to pool. Yeah. Remember, yeah. your hands are I have a combat. coup de gras in my pool. Do you have a card in your pool? Uh, I have a card in my pool, but uh, uh, no, I think I'll keep the card I have. I also have a coup de gras in my pool. If you have... uh, no, I, I mean, I've got a coup de gras card. I just haven't got it up there yet. And uh, I can I can wait. I mean, two shock. I, I, I give him a good love tap in the gut. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Okay, uh, get, let me make get sure things started. Shock is so that's oh my goodness, he's got a ways to go. Okay, 
let me know when I can scramble back to my my feet and join in the brouhaha. <laughs> That'll be on the coming round, okay? Um, you're, oh, you're, oh yeah, I, I know I'm end over tea kettle at the moment. <laughs> okay, so Saban acted, Mo acted. Um, Chris, are you going to try and pop back there at all, or are you going to just have Mo and Saban take care of it? I mean, I can I use my telekinesis to disarm him? Um, you can try. You can try, but his his strength is pretty high, actually. Let's see how would how would I, how would I do that? His strength is an eleven. To disarm him, it's gonna go against his unarmed combat. But his unarmed combat, well, no, his unarmed combat is based on dex. That's right. It, it, it okay? Read that to me. What 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 does that telekinesis do? Uh, d- 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 telekinesis allows Sai to move things with you know with their mind. Sai's mind is their strength once activated, but she continues to use her own skills as usual. Sai can use telekinesis to fly as they're walking while levitating herself at the usual minus two penalty all other actions. Okay, and the strength of that telekinesis is based on your. Uh, let's see, that's going to be based on what your spirit. I uh, that was my. Uh, it doesn't well, say. I uh, it 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 should say. Hang on, just a minute, uh, Chris. I think it's the total roll. No, there's there's a certain amount of strength that you've got. Um, let's see, telekinesis. Okay, let's look down here. Oh, for heaven's sake, let me drag this open. Okay, the size mind is her strength, his strength once activated. But you can, okay, okay, that's what you read to me, and I didn't catch it. So your mind, which just happens to be a 10, that's not bad. 10, that's up to 100 pounds. Um, yeah, you might be able to do it. Go ahead and roll it. Okay. Uh, got myself selected. Telekinesis, no modifier, right? Uh, no modifier. Okay. 21. Okay. You managed to yank the, uh, the thing out of his hand. Um, how far do you move it away? Do you just move it towards you? Hello? 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 Yeah. yeah, I okay. say yes. Oh, okay. You, something happened. You were muted or something. Um, okay. So, you yank it towards you, and it goes skittering across the floor very loudly, almost loud enough to, to, uh, to escape the noise of the engines. Um, and Shawl... The uh, massive Nile mechanic uh, suddenly puts his hands up. And he says something actually in German. What are you guys okay. Do? Does anybody speak German? <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, um, Chris... Uh, roll a, let's see, there's you, I need to take a look at you, roll a, mm. do you guys have a universal, check. what's that? Don't you guys have a universal translator or something? Actually, Chris does. He's got, oh, yeah. A, yeah, uh, I, I want you to roll your computer's skill. Uh, but you're actually rolling it for the translator. Okay. Okay, this should be a fairly easy roll for you. So no modifier, correct? No modifier. Oh. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Um, do you have anything in your pool that you might want to add to that? Or any kind of a possibility or anything? Uh... I'm going to spend a possibility. Okay. 
So do, 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 do. don't forget to. Oh, you were supposed to click on your character. I right clicked now. my token. I okay. don't think I'm in a part of the turn order. You are right there. Uh, so let I, me let me change that. Your roll was actually just a three. Come on, change it. There we go. Okay. Now, if you hit possibility, it will. It should automatically account for that roll. Uh, no modifier. No on modifier. That. Okay. Thirteen. That's a lot better. Your the uh, the translator that's around your wrist. Okay. Um, kind of garbles for a second in your ear. Um, it almost sounds like static. Uh, and then you hear, uh, uh, I surrender. And that was right after you yanked that, uh, wrench after his hand, out of his hand. And he steps back, uh, takes one step back. What did he say? My, my hearing appendages are still ringing. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can hear him that far back. Are, are we are we out are we out of combat now? Unless somebody decides to keep combating. Well, um, that's what I was going to ask next. Uh, are you guys basically done now that Shoal has uh, given up? Surrender. Yeah. 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 I I, I speak hands yeah. up. So. Um. You speak hands up. I like I that. I speak hands up. All right. Okay. Uh, Is that it? Is there a rope around here so we could like? tie him up um it's a natural thing to do actually you guys have rope in in uh any survival kit that you might have all right little man i i like you like take him by the arm and like you know drag him over and anybody uh, have tying knots <laughs> as a skill <laughs> my fellows i hate to ask but are any of you a physician i think he knocked something loose yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I'll fix you in a second. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I can do first aid, maybe. be lovely, Sir Peaches. You, yeah. you, you, ever, you ever done surgery on a starfish, Peaches? <laughs> no. Okay, so... Uh. Um, when, as you're as you're kind of collecting yourselves after the fight, uh, where do you want Shawl at? Uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, let, let's, let's tie him up and just set him here on one of these beds that's back here in the back. Uh, either, you know. uh, either tie him to this chair or tie him to the bed. Wait, what's the vote here? Uh, chair. So that's two for yeah, chair. I like to bed. be able to see him, you know, okay. right here. So that's uh, somebody for chair. be there. Yeah, well, since Mo can't fit in the chair, okay. are, are there is there any equipment nearby this chair? Um, there is, but uh, once Penny comes out of of the foxhole and looks <laughs> at Shawl, um, she notices he's got grease, and uh, uh, um, let's see, he's got some blood around his fingertips, and he's got grease on his shirt. And his, uh, he, he is a mechanic. Okay. So the likelihood that he would bring any harm to this aircraft whatsoever is pretty much none. Don't forget to turn right. the token around. There you go. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see if I can't do first aid. Okay. On, on Saban. Saban. Okay. Yes. Go ahead and, and, uh, and roll your first aid and let's see what we can do. Now, oh, okay. Uh, I learned some things about first aid on Monday night on my in my Monday night game, so I want to kind of share that information real quick. Uh, first aid can actually be very difficult to do, whether on yourself or someone else. Uh, Peaches, do you have any um, any wounds? No, okay. none at all. But Thuban has one. One. So you have a penalty on him of one. Okay. So that's, uh, it's going to be an 11. It's going to require an 11 from you. All right. 
Um, I have a first aid kit. Does that make, and it makes uh, favored. Yeah. Favored. So if you don't like your first roll, you can roll again, but you have to take the second roll. Right. Um, is the, although I don't like I'm that. Gonna, I say take the best of the two. That could be the house rule. Um, the, is there a modifier? Uh, just the, just the penalty of one. Oh, I didn't write minus one. That's okay. Oh, I rolled a three anyway. Yeah. Oh my um, goodness. Okay, <laughs> let's see. The first aid kit. <laughs> what is Has, tech axiom on the first aid kit? Hang on. Uh, yeah. If, it's favored, if, favored. if it's a core earth one, then it'll be 20. Well, not necessarily. 22. Uh, it's a first responder medical bag, so it's actually a tech 23. Oh, and you, being a core earther, are also tech 23. You've just disconnected, unless you have something that you can throw at it. Now, you want to try, are we in a mixed zone? Didn't oh, you say earlier we were in a mixed zone? Uh, you are in a mixed zone. Um, but that just that just affects reconnects. Well, but this is also favored, so I can just re-roll this and pretend it didn't happen. Yes, have you can. Okay. Excellent point. Uh, which I am actually going to do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, don't uh, forget to move all of your cards back from your pool into your hand, please. Okay. When you've got we'll a minute. Um, where is my first aid again? First aid. And uh, this time I should do the mi minus one, correct, as a modifier? Yeah, go ahead and, and uh, uh, actually, uh, yeah, the minus one from his wound. Or its wound. I don't I don't know how to refer to it. <laughs> uh, That's better. Ooh. Okay, that's better, but it's still a nine, and you needed a ten. Does uh -oh. anybody have? Uh oh, pool, actually, we're not in combat, so pools don't matter. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I could just play it if that's the case. Let's see. Uh, play a card. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, let me put this up here so I can read it. Action, plus three to a total of your action test. Okay, so that uh, puts you up to 12. So uh, that's not bad, but, okay, let's see. Healing wounds generally takes 10 minutes. Standard is a 10. A standard success removes one wound and the KO condition. So your wound goes away. Uh, and, thank and you. There's no KO condition, but... Sir Penny, that was very nice of you. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Certainly, I didn't want the the uh, poor thing to bleed out. I, I don't even know if this is actually blood. <laughs> well, this is blood. This is cerebrospinal fluid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were an invertebrate. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Did he say he was bifurcated? <laughs> listen, because, listen, I've never actually studied our own anatomy because until recently, I had no idea what that word meant. Uh, actually, being from Isle, you may still not know what it means. That's fair. Okay. I don't really know much of what our insides look like. Bodies don't last long in Tartar care. Uh, well, we'll see if we can't <laughs> take care of this one as best we can, okay? Sounds like a plan. All right. As things settle down, we're not at the end of the act yet, or the scene. As things settle down, uh, after a time, the only sounds are those of a crackling radio and the sputtering Rolls-Royce engines of the Catalina seaplane. Uh, you, you finally begin to settle in for the cold of night accompanying the disappearing sun. Though the heater begins to work, like all aircraft heaters, it only works so well. The warmer air leaving by many exits from the aircraft before it reaches uh, flesh, and you still find yourself needing to wrap up in whatever you can find to stay warm. Now, let's take a second here. On the, uh, on the map here, where I've got my circles coming out, on both of these uh, cots, you have a series of... Of, of cases, uh, wooden cases, small boxes, things that are tied with basically bailing wire uh, that are that are made available to you. Is anybody going to check them out? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go search. Okay. What I don't you like find, to be cold. 
okay, what you find are 10 old style weighted diving apparatuses with air tanks. None of them are made for Thuban. Or okay. <laughs> <laughs> more, I would guess. <laughs> you Is also. Aquatic anyway. Can he go in the water? Uh, he is not aquatic. Oh. <laughs> I think. <laughs> he loves fish. He doesn't mean he breathes like one. Exactly. Uh, there are 10 spear guns. There are 10 strangely looking grenades. They basically look like a D20 with a pen. Uh, but you can tell that they're grenades because they have stump- something that's sticking out on one side and it's got a pen in it. Uh, huh. Then there are 10 tubes, long black tubes, that look like they would fit directly in your hand. And they've got a button to them. Button. Are any of these no, things no, actually labeled, labeled? Are any of those things what? Actually labeled. Um, there is some labeling, but it's all in Egyptian. Uh, I should say uh, Farsi. Oh. I think well, Farsi has a written language. <laughs> I, I, I grab up some of the more mysterious things, like the tube. Okay. And I and I head on up to Shul. And I say, what are the directions on this thing? Okay. Chris's translator on his wrist uh, translates for Shul, and, and Shul answers, uh, that is a sun blade. A sun blade? What? It's a... How do you get the... Aim it away from everybody else and then push the big red button. All right. Oh, my Uh, God. Maybe um, you shouldn't do that inside the plane. From the laughter, I think you guys all know exactly what this thing is. (laughs) (laughs) I I know what it is. I was thinking, as I keep pressing the big red button, I was going to try to make the lightsaber and, you know, sound just effects. Uh, yeah, well, I you was don't just really... humming Duel of the Fates. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they're basically like a lightsaber, but uh, in accordance with the gamers movie, we can't call them a lightsaber because that is actually copyright infringement. So we have to call them Nile Sunblades. Um, and then you you also find ten pistols with really wide bores to them. And huh. there and there is one shell down the chamber of each of these uh uh little guns. There's these are one shot fat flare guns. Flare gun type mm-hmm. things. Yep. Okay. They so look like what? flare guns anyway. <laughs> Only uh, old timey flare guns. Um, they're they're kind of like burnished brass, uh, and they've got wooden handles with exposed triggers. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Can one uh, take the 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 bullet out? Sure, sure you can. Uh, you can pop open the chamber, which okay, it it kind of pops open like the old timey revolvers do. Okay, like a Webley revolver uh, has a hinge uh, in front of or in the middle of the uh, the cylinder, right? So you can pop that open to reload it. And so this, this uh, is kind of similar to that. And each one has a round within it. And the round has a brass bottom um, and a black ball top. Huh. Okay. I carefully keep it back in there. I There you go. Uh Andrew found oh, it. That's exactly what it looks like. Wow. Only only there like I said there is Egyptian marking like you would find on a flare on the bottom of the shell. Um right. So I, I I carefully reload it and and just making sure not to damage anything. Okay. I'm not trying to Pry things apart and you know shake it like a present or whatever. The man like is geeking boy. out over the magic sword, <laughs> <laughs> which of course he can handle one um, uh, with his smaller uh, tentacles. The craftsmanship on this is fascinating. <laughs> of course, I'd complain about the lack of blade if it didn't conjure itself one out of pure plasma. Oh, the theo magicians would be so jealous of this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why am I getting an image of Thrall? Or yeah, is it Thrall? Is it Crawl? Crawl? When Thrall. when when? Yeah, the little like Pentagon blade thingy, you know, spinning around and stuff like that. Oh, the glade, could, yeah, yeah, the glade. I, I could see Th- Throbin getting a bunch of those uh, sun blades and, and pulling that number. Like a shuriken. <laughs> Here you go. Hold one in each hand. Turn them on when I throw you. GM, I have a request for you. Uh oh, what's that? <laughs> sun blade shuriken. Sunblade shurikens. I'm not sure that's going to work. Um, that wasn't pretty uh, serious. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Although. If, if only one of us was a weird scientist who could make something like that. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, I'm not. So. Um, oh. yeah. <laughs> but, the, uh, but can the Stallinger use one of these sunblades? Yeah. Probably not. Oh, uh, wait, really? Yeah. Why not? You've got all of those uh, smaller tentacles uh, beneath. Uh, that's how you would wield a sword. Uh, and I and do. it says in the descriptions for the Stallinger that uh, you can handle uh, smaller items that uh, are not marked as unwieldy. You can't hold anything that's marked as unwieldy. But Here's most the other thing, things though, you can't. Huh? What's the axioms of this? Um, of what? The, the Sunblade? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, guess what I did? You're not a weird science. <laughs> okay, uh, hang on just a minute. Let me get to my images and type in Nile Empire. Hello, Nile. Hello, Nile. There we Nile go. Nile has a 20. Uh, yeah, I wanted to try and provide him with... Uh-oh, where'd it go? And if it's a weird science device, it doesn't work anywhere that it doesn't support weird science. Which causes no contradiction. So, so it only works in Nile without causing a contradiction. But well, no, that's not true. Weird. That's not true. Oh? Um, Nile uh, powers and weird science and gadgets and gizmos and stuff can now work outside of the Nile Empire. Um, but the you know whether the axioms support them or not, it's just another thing that would allow you to disconnect. Uh, yes, yes. So, it causes and, a contradiction anywhere that yes, doesn't. exactly. Yeah. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's it uh, it depends on on the tech axiom of where you're at. Now, oh, I must not have uploaded that. I thought I had. Um, well, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, Andrew is correct. Uh, the tech axiom is a twenty on that. Oh, so, but then there's this blue and red splinter that I see in here. That's something that I think might not work well via Eilish technology. I think that it would be best if Sir Mo or Sir Dogfight had use of this. Well, we have ten of them if you don't want to play with one. <laughs> well, I would love to play with one. It's just that I think I would get hurt, cosmically speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or Cosm- like that, cosmically? That, like that. Like yes, that wrench, uh, like that wrench, you couldn't like uh, uh, cosm your way out of. <laughs> no, that was just kinetic force. This is different. All right. It oh, looked like oh. it was cosmically painful. All right, it was. So right. you you fly out of the storm. Uh, at leaving the Nile Empire, you can feel the uh, axiom energy uh, passing over your body again. And uh, Saban, Mo, Shoal, Captain Lafleur, and Dogfight are momentarily kind of stunned by what's going on. It it do, it only takes maybe four seconds to pass through the cloud barrier, um, uh, and there's not a whole lot of activity at the altitude that that uh, Captain Lafleur has you at. So. Uh, you you kind of get temporarily stymied, as it were. It only lasts for one round, um, but you you definitely feel the effects of leaving the Nile Empire for Core Earth. Um, okay. No, no, no. Oh, that makes me nauseous every time. What was that? Okay, wow. so let's see. Captain Gonzalez asks, "What is our list here?" Um, so ten old. Style, um, yeah, uh huh. Waited. We should all drop a card now, right? Uh, no, not yet. It's not the end of the scene. 
not the end of the act, with air tanks. Okay. Uh, let me let me put this in here. Um, Ten um, spear guns. No, don't don't let me slow this down. I, I was well, no, just hoping to get like. It's probably better if I put this here anyway. I was going to end up putting a list up anyway. So um, ten strain, uh, ten Nile grenades. Let's put that put it as such. Um, ten sun blades. And I'll take ten two of those flare guns. Well, we're we're going to get in, into that in a few minutes. Okay, there you go. There's the list of what you have access to from all of those boxes and crates and and uh, all of that stuff that's that's on the your uh huh those places. Um, so y you might have a, a difficult time thinking about what these would be for unless and until you go back and reread uh, uh, Professor Sharif's diary, which or journal, which is available uh, still in the journal tab. Okay. And where all good books are sold. And where all good books are sold. Okay. Um, so let me let me kind of finish reading this and we'll get to the end of the scene and the act. Below you, the lights of a few towns, villages, and small cities bravely attempting to carry on in this new world gives you some faith humanity will continue the fight to survive. However, the weight of the mission you've taken on begins to settle on your shoulders, even as exhaustion takes you to rest, leaving you in fitful slumber. Hours GM, pass. I, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I just ahead. realized that I shouldn't have been able to be that effective against Shoal because I was I should have been under the negative four penalty. Um, why? Uh, from dramatic reveal. Well, you were under the negative four penalty. Uh, oh, I was. But, yeah, but Shaw had some um, Shaw had some bonuses for you. Remember? Ah, okay. You're fine. All right. I, all right. Sorry. I just wanted to make sure I was playing fair. Continue. Nope, no worries. Thank you very much. Uh, hours pass as you cross the Indian Ocean toward Christmas Island, and you wake periodically to see the only light is that of celestial bodies to give you any indication of where you are and what is below. Sometime in the very early morning hours, when it's still dark, you end up landing in the ocean uh, in accordance with the fighter planes. Uh, and their instructions, and there is a refuel ship there waiting for you. They refuel you without question, and you're able to get back on. However, after the Nile fighters uh, escorted you as far as they did, they had to return home. And mm -hmm. there was an island they had to uh, fly to first to get their refueling, and then uh, they were to go back. So now you're on your own, back up in the air. Um, when we get ready to take off, guys, uh, let, let's fly back low over the uh, uh, by the ship and, and, and just like you know toss Shoal out and let them fish him out of the ocean. Yeah, here's your flotation device. Good luck. <laughs> Does that sound good to everybody? Well, I would rather use the core. But if you insist on letting him live, I suppose I can oblige. <laughs> he hasn't taken any wounds, not none at all. So, and he's here. No, the band, just to slit his, the band was just considering slitting his throat for necromancy purposes. Oh, you evil, evil, evil person. Not uh, really. Only <laughs> for my enemies. Okay. He's not our enemy anymore. At least not right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm... then. I'm. Yeah, what he he, yeah, he can get to the uh, island or a safe place from here if we do that, can he? Uh, well, actually, if you if you fly low nearby the ship and drop him out um, so that he's in the ocean, you hear the alarms go up on the deck of the tender, and uh, and 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 you may not hear man overboard, um, and Thuban, you don't even feel it because you're inside the aircraft, uh, but. Uh, there's a man overboard, and he will be rescued. So that's good on you guys. Um, hey. Later, suckers. Rocket Rangers rule. I'm I'm <laughs> going to say, I'm going to say that that's worth a possibility for everyone. Oh, hey. uh -huh. nice. So uh, go see. Rocket Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> don't you ever stop. 
<laughs> please, go, please go. stop. <laughs> please, 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 please. Please. Then, in the pre-dawn light of the early morning, you see lightning flash through dark clouds surrounding a relatively small section of the sea, and you know in the pit of your stomach that is your destination. Slipping on a life vest and tightening your seatbelt, you prepare to brave this next storm as the aircraft begins its descent. If you don't stop the theft of possibility energy, you know many will die. You become resolved in that moment to prevent it from happening, even if it costs you your own life in the end. And that's going to be the end of the scene. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and close things down. Um, all players shuffle their pools back into their hands if necessary. Uh, looks like everybody's kind of squared away. Uh, mm -hmm. Players with a hand. Okay, actually, you're discarding all of your cards. You're going into a new act. So go ahead and discard all of your cards except for the hand pool separator. Uh, what about the uh, Cosm card? The Cosm card also. My Cosm card was captured. If any of us had gotten killed, I could have played captured and we just wound up being taken prisoner. That yeah. might have been useful during the base I, fight. I if wanted to play this one. What's that? Uh, I, I, I didn't know if I should have played my connection card. Um. Ooh. You. You know what? If If you're not sure, you can always bring the card out and get everybody's opinion or idea. Now, um, I have not forgotten. Go ahead and and pick up those two possibilities. Uh. uh already, Josh. Done. They're already done. Right. Okay. Yep. So let's see. Is that it against this villain for the rest of the scene? Gain two possibilities. Okay. So. Let me get kind of there's I know there's a way to reclaim all of these cards, but I don't remember how. Take card, I don't want to no, no, no. Hold on. Um where is it? Nope. I want over here. Destiny deck show. Recall. Uh let's see. On table or twenty seven, in player's hands, nineteen. Whoa. Okay, is there anything left to recall? Yes, everything that's on the table. Okay, and recall unplayed already in the deck. So I'm going to just recall all those and we're going to shuffle. Now, wait a minute. Why didn't those go away? Oh, because they're Cosm cards. I just had an idea after I found this fellow. Um, who is that? Sorry, that was me. My my my. I was on my phone for a second, just as I turned the mic back on. My oh, bad. okay. Uh, Nile Empire. For a second, I thought we got hacked. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that myself. Hello, gentlemen. All your torg are belong to us. <laughs> okay. So hide. Yeah. Hide Have this. Have time to survive. Make your time. All right. So ending an act. Um, let's see. Characters with fewer than three possibilities are automatically returned to three. Do any of you have fewer than three possibilities? Check your nope. character sheets. No. Nope. This one nope. reward for seeing uh, Shul come to no harm. I just, I, I have four. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Characters with more than three possibilities get to keep them, unlike what they have in the rule book. <clears throat> I've never liked that. Uh, that means see. my seven possibilities are in. Yep. So you keep those. Uh, let's see. All characters gain five experience points for completing the act. So uh, who does not know uh, where to put their experience points? Okay. Uh, let's see. All characters regain all shock and you can do a test to recover wounds since it's a new day anyway. Uh, nobody's got any wounds, so everybody recovers their shock. What happened to that house rule about cashing in unspent possibilities for XP? That is at the end of the adventure. Ah, I see. Yeah. And you can only uh, use three possibilities. Each possibility spent in that fashion allows you to gain three ex or yeah three experience points. So you can gain a total of nine for three possibilities. Um, but 
you cannot spend below uh, your natural starting possibility. So if you start with three, you cannot spend below those. And if you have four, you can't spend below those. I see. So I might as well st spend one or two next adventure then. Well, at the end of this adventure. So yeah. we, we'll, we'll do it at the end of, of adventures. Uh, okay, so let's see. All characters regain shock. Uh, does any, Nobody needs to do wounds. Okay, so the ban and dogfight, you have not regained your shock yet. I'll uh, take care of that. Okay. Did we get any XP for this? Yes, five. Sorry, I, I, I forgot the number, and I was like, N now what's my line? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, each player turns in their old unused Cosm card. The appropriate Cosm card deck is shuffled, and each player is dealt a new Cosm card. We're not there yet. Um, each player... If you have available XP that you want to spend, you may spend some now. So think about that for a minute. And uh, so if nobody's improving anything, we're going to uh, kind of move on. All right. Um, I'm not going to pass out cards card. just yet. What's that? Oh, I was like, give me, give me cards. I, I intend to give you all cards here in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 